Good afternoon. I'd like to thank you all for being here. I'm Dr. Safiya Omari, the Chief of Staff for Mayor Lumumba. And we're here this afternoon to discuss uh, the recent announcement by the zoo that they would like to move to Lafleur's Bluff. So without any further introduction, I would like to bring forth our illustrious mayor, the Honorable Shokwe Antar Lumumba. <laughs> Thank you. I hired Dr. Omari, so she's required to say that, all right? <laughs> uh, I just would like to begin by thanking you all for being here this afternoon. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Working Together Jackson and all of the organizations which are enumerated under that umbrella as we make the position clear. Uh, it was my understanding that I had made this clear previously, but for anyone who's under any misconception, it is the position of myself and my administration that we do not support the move of the zoo from West Jackson, all right? Uh, we understand the unique challenges that the zoo is facing. In fact, we understand the challenges that zoos across the nation are facing. And we believe that if there is a significant investment in the Jackson Zoo, it should be made right where it is today. All right? Right. To discuss a $50 million plus investment in a zoo in a new location is disrespectful to the history of the zoo. It is disrespectful to the community in which the zoo currently resides. And as we look at developing our city, our proposition is that we are not for moving towards the old models of developing a city. Models which look at how you build great edifices and move people from one state of misery to the next. And so we will not support losing another resource out of West Jackson. We will not support the idea that a zoo is better positioned just because we see it as being easy to move it to an area of town which has all of the resources already. I stand there because I, I stand on this on principle. I stand on this on the, on the basic belief that we have to build Jackson for everyone. I stand there as a North Jackson resident myself. I understand that we have to support all areas of Jackson. When we create voids in West Jackson, it impacts all of Jackson. When we create voids in West Jackson, then the people in North Jackson, the people in South Jackson, have to, in, have to take up the tax burden when people leave, when, when conditions are worsened, when crime rises because less opportunity and less resources are in communities, it does not maintain just in the sector in which you decided to remove the resource. Crime is not in a bubble. It will affect everyone across the city. And so uh, we, we stand with Working Together Jackson. We stand with the West Jackson community in the proposition that the zoo should not be removed and we will use all tools in our toolbox in order to ensure that that does not happen. Uh, as we look at the words of Jack Hanna, who recently visited Jackson, Mississippi, and what Jack, who is a world-renowned expert on wildlife, when he came to visit the Jackson Zoo, he talked about the treasure it was, and he talked about how it was rare that it still, uh, we still had a zoo that had the environment that our current zoo has. And he said that he thinks un under no circumstances should the Jackson Zoo be removed. And we stand with Jack in that notion. At this time, I would invite, invite uh, representatives from Working Together Jackson. Well, I would first invite City Council President uh, Charles Tillman, uh, who has a significant amount to say about this issue uh, as it impacts his ward. Uh, Mr. Tillman, if you would please join us at the podium. Good evening. Good evening. I am highly upset. We work hard over the years to make sure that the zoo maintain its accreditation. We sent people to Memphis to meet with the accreditation committee. We put people on the zoo board that we thought had like minds as the city council, the administration, and especially the citizens of West Jackson. 
And to be here today, to be here today, to fight to try to keep the zoo in West Jackson is a sad day. Like the mayor said, Jackson is Jackson. All resources shouldn't be in one part of the city. It need to be spread around so citizens can move around the city of Jackson. Resources can move around the city of Jackson. But when you take everything out, one section of Jackson, what's left? What's left? I asked the zoo board, those who voted, to meet and rescind their vote and work with the administration, all the other citizens, the organization, working together Jackson, and let's move forward and making the zoo an ideal place for all to love, cherish, and go for entertainment. Thank you. Thank you, President Tillman. At this time, I would invite uh, representatives from Working Together Jackson to uh, provide their statement this afternoon. Hi, my name is Heather Ivory, and this is Ricky Jones. Thank you. We represent Working Together Jackson, which is an organization collective of over 35 organizations in our city. Uh, we're committed to rebuilding our city, um, and we also represent Zoo Area Progressive Partnership, uh, which is a member of Working Together Jackson. Additionally, I'm a long-term, um, long-time resident of West Jackson for the last 20 years and an avid supporter of the Jackson Zoo. Today, Working Together Jackson and ZAP leaders stand behind me with the mayor in objecting to the relocation of the Jackson Zoo. The zoo's recent announcement of its intent to leave West Jackson was disheartening, to say the least. Not only because of the possibility of losing a historic 100-year-old ecosystem, and not only because of the lack of transparency and involvement of the community in the decision-making process, but also, and very importantly, because of what relocation of the zoo would mean for the redevelopment of West Jackson. We realize that it is possible to develop a new zoo simply as an entertainment attraction at some other part of the city. And while it's true that the zoo um, is a great venue for entertainment and education for students and researchers, it could also be one that becomes even better with proper investment. We understand that the zoo is much more than just entertainment. Indeed, the Jackson Zoo is important to the redevelopment of West Jackson and into the entire city. For the past few years, we have heard excuses about why the zoo can't stay in West Jackson. Mostly, it's related to the supposed undesirability of the area around the zoo. We acknowledge that the zoo and the neighborhoods around it um, are in need of support. We're in need of a lot of support. But West Jackson and its residents will not shoulder the blame or the burden for the Jackson Zoo's inability to survive. There are many factors that have contributed to its steep decline in attendance over the last 10 years, uh, many of which are the results of years of neglect and um, disinvestment. We know that this doesn't have to be the end of the story. And at one point, the zoo acknowledged this too. Just a couple of years ago, uh, the Jackson Zoological Society enacted a strategic planning process that produced an excellent plan for the redevelopment of the zoo right where it is now. The unveiling of the plan um, led to an article in the Clarion Ledger about how it was a new day for the zoo and it was a new day for Jackson. How, however, only a year later, a report by Schultz and Williams concluded that people will not invest in the zoo at its current location. We've heard presentations by zoo management stating that some donors may be willing to give millions of dollars if the zoo moves, but they're not willing to give any if it stays where it is. To that, we humbly suggest that they are asking the wrong people. In, year, in a year's time, there's no way that we could have possibly exhausted all options for zoo funding. Thank you, Heather. Uh, 
many of the leaders here have tried to work with the zoo board to offer ideas and re for resources and help figuring out creative solutions to the problems. But we are largely left out of the process and ignored. So for years, mostly, mostly on our own, we have worked with the zoo to support the area around by hosting neighborhood walks, cleanups, and promoting zoo membership and events. Now we, are, we arrive at, at this moment where the zoo board has essentially thrown up its hands and decided to move elsewhere. The residents of West Jackson feel the opportunity for, re, for developing being shifted to areas of, of the community that is perceived as being more deserving. Working together, Jackson, however, has not given up on the zoo or West Jackson. We submit that our families, institutions, they are more than deserving of these opportunities, so we are working to create themselves, them ourselves. Working, to, working together, Jackson has prioritized the revitalization of West Jackson and our institutions are investing in our money and our human resource into redeveloping West Jackson. We have set into motion organizing strategies that include organizing in public schools in West Jackson, eradicating blight, and we have map, mapping um, our plans developing 500 affordable homes that will own, be owned by low to moderate income families. We are working with Mayor Lumumba and his administration and other community organizations on these efforts. We are not just giving up, giving lip service to these priorities. So working together, Jackson joins the mayor, other officials in calling for a strategy for West Jackson that include home ownership opportunities and redeveloping the, of the zoo as a part of the broad redevelopment strategy. Instead of moving resources out of West Jackson, we urge those who want to invest in the zoo to join us in making the, those investments in, into West Jackson as a whole. The entire city has an interest in ensuring that West Jackson thrives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for the, um, the support. Uh, I, I stand with you of working together, Jackson. Thank you, Councilman Tillman, and thank you for all of those allies in the fight to uh, maintain the zoo where it pr presently resides. Uh, I will conclude my statements and then I'll give an opportunity for any questions that you may have. I will conclude my statements by this action is an effort essentially to block out a portion of our city, to remove people from the future plans of our city. Uh, it creates a wall and I will still align from a recent movie that, that many of us had an opportunity to see in Black Panther where they said foolish men build walls. Wise men build bridges. This is an opportunity to build a bridge with West Jackson. It's an opportunity to build bridges where we all connect across the city. And we stand with supporting the entire city. We represent all of Jackson, and we want to see all of Jackson rise. Uh, and so we're going to do everything that we can to push that, that concept and, and bring that idea into fruition. 